All I am going to say for my introduction is I'm only covering this video because of Toga. Also, watch his video if you haven't. It's not required or anything, it doesn't have any context for the video I'm about to cover, it's just a good video! Okay, before we actually start commenting, I want to bring up a disclaimer because my god there's so much shit to unwrap here. Before we actually start commentating on this video, I want to commentate on one specific part of the video. Disclaimer. Anything I say may be offensive to some people, so pay attention. If you are easily offended, I recommend you click away. The video will obviously contain foul language, me constantly going off topic, and my f***ing opinion. Thank you for your time and enjoy the damn video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Number one. Anything I say may be offensive to some people, so pay attention. Um, quick question. Who's gonna get offended by a guy on the internet making a generic video about how much a cartoon channel sucks? I don't know. Who would be offended by a commentary on that video? I ask because you put a disclaimer at the start of your video warning your viewers about crude humor, which could be considered offensive to some. Reading the disclaimer, it's clear the user in question is referring to their strong language, which, again, some people do consider offensive, albeit a rather small portion of the population on places like YouTube. Oh, also, regarding that whole fucked up sense of humor thing, Gumdrop Animator changes this person's avatar with various incredibly vulgar manga panels. I'm going to be switching that out with a picture of Cookie Monster smoking a pipe. That is, unless you mean it from the standpoint of, Oh, those idiots on the internet are so gonna get triggered over me doing my appearance. <laughs> In which case, fuck off. So there are people who would be offended by this video. You just invalidated your own point, even if you include a fuck off to those people afterwards. And by the way, it's rather ironic you dismiss this content warning on that basis given the entire point of it is essentially to tell those people to fuck off, albeit a lot nicer. Or were you saying fuck off the person who made the video because they included a content warning, I guess? Nothing about this makes any sense. Number two, video will obviously contain me constantly going off topic. Are you sure you want me promoting that out loud? I mean, it's nice that you're gonna tell people right off the bat that this is gonna be an unscripted video. Even though scripting videos and going off topic are in no way mutually exclusive, meaning this conclusion does not follow in the slightest. But given how much you go off topic, I still can't help but feel like this is a bit... Well, for lack like of a better word, off. How? You don't have any explanation, and by your own account, this appears to be pretty accurate. Number three. This video will also contain my f***ing opinion. Why do I get a feeling that that opinion thing is more of a shield rather than, you know, him actually giving his opinion? You know, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the reason stated in this text which you put on screen and I checked for half a second which is not enough time to read the text and is on the shorter side to even be able to pause the video to read the text. Either way, this is just a massive pain in the ass all around to see your explanation for your point. The text is also on the harder to read side because it blends in with the picture on screen, I should note. So in terms of communicating your reason for believing what you said, you have failed in essentially every way you possibly could. Finally, while this isn't a big issue and more of a nitpick, I'm still gonna bring it up anyway. The color scheme you're using for your little disclaimer card here is very, very, very strange. I don't know about you, but putting sky blue text and getting somewhat muted red background doesn't really look that well. My suggestion is that you should alter the colors a little bit, whether it be for the text, the background, or both, so that way everybody's eyes in the audience are, you know, shooting out their sockets. The thing I like about this point is she begins by saying she's nitpicking, and then by the end is saying that it's so bad it's causing her eyes to shoot out of her sockets. Even as comedic hyperbole, the tone by the end doesn't really match how you started, I'm sorry. I was sick. 
for quite a while. Um, let me stop getting my personal issues and shit. All right, let's get down straight down to business. Oh no 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 no! Continue, please. As far as video making concerned, it's perfectly okay for you to go off topic in the intro as well as the outro, seeing as how it's not the main bulk of the video. Says who? Personally speaking, I would find that really annoying if I clicked on a video and then it took the person several minutes to actually discuss the topic in question. Cartoon Network, this is your uh, video. If you watching, or anyone that works in Cartoon Network, where I was ahead of it, I don't care. Listen and pay attention. Yeah, after all the other millions of similar rants, I don't really think Cartoon Network's gonna pay attention this time. Especially seeing as how this list has been really that different from the others. Which other ones? What is your frame of reference here? And for that matter, how is this similar to the other ones? You haven't explained that, and he's barely said anything, so it is nowhere near self-evident. I should also add that a large amount of people making the same complaint would actually make Cartoon Network more likely to listen to them, if only because that's a larger set of viewers who they are turning off through their decisions. That could start watching the network again if they changed things up. Now, I thought to myself real hard about if I wanted to make a rant video or just a regular hear me out video. I pick rant. I'm not going to be losing my shit in this video like, you know, any other rant video because it's a cartoon channel. And of course, I'm 18. Oh, I'm supposed to watch adult shows and not watch cartoons because that's for kids. Uh, not really. The reason isn't the fact that you're an adult watching kids cartoons. You can watch whatever the hell you want. The reason is the fact that there are lots of adults out there who hate on kids shows not because they're poorly written or offensive or anything of that sort, but because they're children's media that's meant to be enjoyed by children. If these people actually use their brains, then various people such as Clay Claymore and Jesus with Bazooka 79 would have never made fun of them. Okay, well that has quite literally no relevance to what's going on given the person you're covering isn't doing that. They're not hating on these kid shows for just being kid shows, judging by what you've shown us so far. Cartoon Network, listen up real quick. You better pray to God that Teen Titans Go lasts a lifetime. Like Simpsons or... SpongeBob, or any other long-running franchise. What? So you can continue making the same generic ass videos about how the show is terrible and how it ruined your childhood amongst many other pointless stuff? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, you mean those arguments he hasn't fucking made yet? And it's funny you keep calling him generic when your examples of generic arguments are, again, things he hasn't said. He hasn't insulted the quality of Teen Titans Go yet, and nowhere in any of the clips you show in this video does he say the show ruined his childhood or anything of the sort. Honestly, my biggest issue with this video is it consistently comes off like you aren't actually listening to what he's saying, but are instead just going into this with the preconceived notion that it's a generic Cartoon Network rant, as you put it earlier, and are mentally shifting the video until it resembles that. I don't feel like I'm actually watching a commentary. I feel like, well, this. We're not having a real conversation. Are we? You're you're just waiting for me to finish so you can say your next thing. The reason why I'm making this video is because, well, if you have been living under a rock, Teen Titans Go is coming out with a movie. Yeah, a movie. And you might be wondering, okay, they um, regular Teen Titans came out with a movie as well, Trouble in Tokyo. So what's the problem with that? The problem is, is it's going into the theaters. The fuck kind of complaint is that? Oh no, they're making a movie that's meant to be shown in theaters. So? You know, maybe you'll figure out why that's his issue if you actually let him talk for longer than the amount of time it took him to introduce his point to the audience. 
Now, okay, I know. Now, look, I'm old dinosaur. My memory ain't as strong as it used to be. I don't know if Teen Titans, the trouble in Tokyo, ever made it into the theater, but this one is. I, I honestly don't know how to respond to this. Like, if you want to watch Trouble in Tokyo, just watch Trouble in Tokyo. Ignore the movie. I just, oh god, my head hurts. Oh my god, you just fucking said this, and it holds equally as much relevance as it did last time, which is to say, none. Allow me to pull the rug out from under you. His point is not that it's bad that Teen Titans Go's movie is being shown in theaters. His point is that Cartoon Network is oversaturating the show and giving it things it would never give other programs, such as a theatrical film. Even though he makes it clear later in this video that he doesn't like Teen Titans Go, his dislike of it isn't even the main issue he has. He could think it's the greatest show ever and still feel this way. Hell, there are shows I like that I have this issue with. For example, I like Steve Harvey's hosting of Family Feud. But that doesn't mean I think it's a good idea for GSN to air it a hundred times a week. If only because, now, whether or not you watch GSN is entirely dependent on whether or not you want to watch Steve Harvey's Family Feud. Which greatly limits the amount of people who are going to watch the network. Apple and Onion is a horrible fucking show. I couldn't watch one fucking episode. I was like, first of all, what? First of all, Apple looked like some like some dank meme, and the damn Onion don't even look like a fucking Onion. I thought it was a motherfucking radish, nigga. Really? Those are your complaints with the show? I know you can't fully criticize the show seeing it's out of ten episodes right now, but that doesn't make your complaints any easier to swallow. Like. Okay, Onion doesn't look like an onion. So? There are tons of cartoon characters out there that don't look like what you think they are. That's just how cartoons work. Okay, two issues. One, I can't help but notice you didn't give any examples to back up your point here. And two, okay, well, who's to say he doesn't take issue with that in other cartoons as well? You saying it happens in other cartoons doesn't actually mean anything. But the thing is, is that now it's like running Cartoon Network. If I could tell you right now, my nigga, let me tell you something. Random shit in a cartoon is good. It's a certain extent of how much randomness in a cartoon it can take for it to be good. Let me explain for a second. SpongeBob, randomness, all right, is good. But the type of humor in it makes the randomness good. Adventure Time excels in random shit. And it's funny, it's motherfucker. Regular show is random as a motherfucker. But it's good and funny. Then all other shows, I can't name all of them. Oh, well, Foster's Home Imaginary Friends. I mean, random monsters and shit. That's random. Kid next, kids Next Door type random. You know, random shit. Now, if I told you that one of these episodes of Teen Titans Go explained, not explained, how the episode of the Titans playing in the bathroom, and at the end of the episode, we have finally found out that bathrooms are not what, what, it, what they really are. Bathrooms are mother... Now... Okay, ignoring the fact that some of those shows aren't really that random like you thought they were. Like which ones? Why is it exactly an issue when Teen Titans Go does random comedy? It's not. He just spent an entire minute telling you the issue is not that Teen Titans Go does absurdist humor, but that he doesn't feel like the show does it particularly well. Is it because of some legitimate reason or is it because of Teen Titans Go? Who the fuck wouldn't call their reasons for disliking something legitimate? You're essentially asking him, is it for good reasons or is it for stupid reasons? Most people aren't going to say, my reasons for having this opinion are dumb. Yo, what this episode is about? Yo, dog, this episode right here, dude. Let me explain right here for a second, my nigga. 
What the fuck was the point of playing that small clip from his video before skipping again? Why not just skip either the entire section or play it out? But this shit. This shit? In one episode? Nigga, first of all, the brightness colors, the bright ass colors in the episodes is already enough. They had to add in stupid shit, stupid shit. I'm like, a flying bat, bro, nigga? What the fuck? First of all, I, like I said, I saw some ran I see random shit on cartoons. It's not bad to have random shit. But, I don't know why the hell I'm going on in this episode. Oh man, there was such a point in all of that. It was so pointy. And what I mean us, I mean by the 90s kids. And motherfucking early 2000 kids. That been there from the start. Y'all try to distance and shit. I see the little promos that come out with Teen Titans Go. And the episodes teasing the shit out of us. Acting like, oh, we gotta be serious all the time. And they clearly sensitive. And they clearly sensitive because they keep making episodes teasing the OGs. We keep telling them we ain't trying to tease y'all. We are trying to help y'all. I'm sorry, in what universe is sending death threats as well as mindlessly screeching to the microphone over generic pointless shit supposed to be helpful? I'm sorry, but when has this person sent a death threat to anybody? Fuck, when has any critic of Teen Titans Go sent a death threat to anybody? I'm not going to sit here and say for sure it's never happened. I mean, there are a lot of Teen Titans Go critics. It wouldn't surprise me if at least one has by now. However, you don't show any evidence to back up your point. You just assert it. They clearly don't learn from the enemy. They're going to ride this, this show's dick until the end, and they're going to sit there like, well, damn. Implying this is the first time Cartoon Network has been in this type of situation. No he isn't! What the fuck? Where did you get that idea? Anyway, final thoughts. The way Gumdrop Animator consistently missed the point of the person she was covering makes this one of the most frustrating and confusing videos I've covered. Like I said earlier, it constantly feels like she's not even listening to it, but is instead just waiting for him to finish so she can make whatever point she already planned on making anyway, regardless of what was actually in the video in question. Good night, and good luck.